much. So this is the airport of Zagreb. It's not that too deep. Check it this way. So let me go to Ryanair. Let me do my checking in Ryanair and I'm going to walk you and share with you a little bit how the airport really looks like. I don't need uh, I don't need anything, I just decided to go to departure direct. So, normally I just have to go to departure direct. Departure, I think it's this way. So this is how it looks like. This is the airport of Zagreb. Oh, okay, I need to see. I need to finish my water here. I'm not allowed to go with the bottle.
It is new. It's not that uh, so big, small airport, but I guess it was just renovated. Or built. Because everything is fresh. All gates. Oh, Croatia is full with a lot of surprise. If you talk about the transport system, going from place to place, like city to city, is a little bit difficult. But hey, when you get to these cities, it's okay. For example, Dubrovnik is beautiful with the old town medieval vibes and also when you come to Zagreb it is beautiful it's a little bit modernized modern day architects and also with the vibrant people of the city it's beautiful so everywhere how it is so every city has its own charm like that of uh, splits and other good places the mid nation i will visit there some other time when i visit the country it's a place for smoking it's a bar bar restaurant maybe oh Can even buy a bag, can do some shopping here yeah, also for the summer holiday. Let me see where my gate is. My gate is. Gate 23, Yes, so Yes, so gate 23. 22. And this way, I think. Valentina, Oh. <laughs> I'm just in front of my gate and I'm like looking around and this is my gate. I just arrived at the right gate. And I'm just like looking at the the board to be able to know where my my you know my flight is the gate and look at my gate here. <laughs> Let me take you to walk around the airport once more again. The toilets over there where I will go also. I have some time because I came in advance because you know the transport system. Sometimes in the country is a little bit deceiving sometimes, so I was in advance. Because you will see when the videos of uh, uh, Croatia will start coming out, the transport system, what I talk about my experience and transport system, and also on the live sections, you will know why I am a little bit like a little bit stressful with the personnel uh, at the bus stop because it's not easy 
sometimes the transport system is not that uh, so good. But uh, I found the transport system in the city of Zagreb okay. The trams moving very well. So I even took it uh, a couple of times. So Zagreb was okay. The transport system within the city is okay. But when you are going to city to city, that is where it's a little bit difficult and complicated. And people, this is Finn, Finn here, uh, Finnish, going to Finland. So that is where it's a little bit difficult. For example, train is not going to Dubrovnik. The train can go up to Split. Then you are obliged to take a bus to go to Dubrovnik. This is how it is. And uh, the thing is that the buses that are even going to Dubrovnik is not really that fluid. It is not that fluid, you know, because the bus that is going to uh, Dubrovnik, like the one I took, the fleece bus, it will go to different places, you know. It will take you to different places. Like, for example, that ride can take us for maximum five hours. but. We spent the whole day in the bus, and one of the last, uh, my last bus that I took to Zagreb, the return bus, was even catastrophic. It is surprising to see that police bus and the drivers can be able to use that bus to travel for the whole day, the whole day, which there is no toilet. The toilet is not working, so it's very, very difficult and the toilet is smelling it's stinky you cannot even breathe and that kind of long journey at some point you are hungry you want to eat and how can you eat in that kind of smelling place it is not easy it is not really really easy it is easy to just to say but when you experience that it's not easy and it is expensive I paid 60 euro. It's not that so nice. So this is it. This is the airport. The airport of Zagreb. I'm just taking you to walk around to share with you a little bit the airport before I'm going to take my flight to Paris. This is a passport control. If you are going to international, out of, uh, I guess, um, out of Europe, I guess, you have to undergo passport control. Or if you are just came, uh, if you are just coming in from other continent, you still have to undergo control. Also, it depends on where you're coming from. can also be sometime in around Europe, so it's also dependent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, friendly. This is all some of the, I would say, the personnel in the airport, the most friendliest personnel I've ever experienced in an airport. I think it's here in Zagreb. They are all smiling. When they see me, they say, they, I see them, they're all smiling. Some want to say hello, like this one, she just say hello. So, the best personnel, airport personnel, workers I've ever experienced. Not in, in some places, they are kind of like, they don't even want to smile and, and sometimes very rude. They are rude and disrespectful. They are way of like, even their body language is not so open. Lot. So that is a Polish airline lot. I have not flied with Polish airline. Maybe one day it will happen. Even Croatian airline. I wanted to try it uh, in Dubrovnik to year, but uh, I was a little bit scared because of my bag. I don't know if I have to pay additional money for my bag. You know, now like in Ryanair, in Wizz Air, and most airlines, you have to pay extra fee for this kind of bag. 
And like few months ago, like three, uh, let, me, let me say four or five months ago, it wasn't so. So it's because of that I said, hey, I don't want to take the risk to go and pay because the flight cost, when I saw it online, it cost about uh, 85 to 80 euro. So imagine if I have to pay for the bag again, it will go up to more than 100 euro to 150 euro maybe. So I said, hey, I cannot spend that kind of money again. So I decided to take the fleece bus that that is where I experienced my worstest travel experience, the stinkiest bus so far I've ever experienced traveling around Europe. So the videos are coming. It is awesome. It's interesting. So much fun. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.